This is a double review of two excellent books, both by the same author, David Polites. His books are The Hoopa Project, which came out in 2008, and Tribal Bigfoot, which came out in 2009, which was the follow-up to, uh, to this one. First of all, the review of The Hoopa Project goes by this, goes like this, absolutely fantastic. This book, written by former police investigator Dave Polites, covers a three-year investigation into the Hoopa Reservation and town just 14 miles north of the Bigfoot capital of the world, Willow Creek, California. He interviews many natives of the area and has each of them sign an affidavit, attesting to each witness's truthfulness. There are photos of all the witnesses and also of the locations these sightings took place in. An, inter an interesting note is that some of the sightings took place in the same proximity and within less than a mile from each other. The witnesses' tales are quite compelling and stark in their detail, but Polites has gone beyond just giving witnesses descriptions. He also brings in forensic artist Harvey Pratt, who has done quite a bit of sketch work for the FBI and Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation and did the initial sketches of the BTK killer, the Green River killer, Ted Bundy, Henry Lucas, Otis O'Toole, and many other famous cases, and utilizes his skills in forensic art to bring a truer picture of the witnesses' sightings to life, which he does in bold detail. The Sasquatch creatures portrayed by Pratt, as described by the witnesses, describe a more human-like face than ape-like, which is quite fascinating. I highly recommend this book. And, um, this is one of the sketches right here by Harvey Pratt, which adorns the book cover. And there are uh, several other uh, sketches, and I can show you some of the co full color sketches uh, that have been done by Harvey Pratt. Here are some examples. As you can see, very, very human-like face. Look at that. Right there, right there. Very human-like face on, this, uh, on, the, on these creatures. And you can see some right there. You can see that these these are really excellent sketches. This one does resemble Patty a bit if you, if you really take a look at it. But this is a witness drawing or a witness sketch that was done by Harvey Pratt on the you know on the direction of the witness. You can definitely see some human-like qualities to uh, these sketches. There's the back side of one of one Sasquatch. There's a sort of a side view. And here's some more sketches. I think this this was thought to be a female, a lady named Mickey McCarty, who uh, lives in the uh, I believe she lives near Hoopa, or at least in Hoopa. Uh, she said that was a very sweet-looking creature. I believe this is a full. This is a full uh, length. I believe of also of, of Mickey McCarty. Yeah, Mickey McCarty's sighting. And here is uh, here's one a full full size sketch. That's the same sketch that's on the cover. And this is a uh, witness. I believe named Inker McCovey. Inker, a fellow named Inker McCovey has had several sightings. This is when uh, he was in his bathroom and he was a young man and this creature reached into the bathroom window. <laughs> I know, very similar to Legend of Boggy Creek. Uh, as, as we, all, we all remember the, uh, the famous or infamous scene where the creature reaches into the window, the bathroom window, and scares the guy off the toilet. <laughs> And then they, these are the, the final sketches that Harvey did. The the um, the Sasquatch sketches as 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 directed by by the by the witnesses. So uh, this is available at HancockHouse.com, also on Amazon. It's also available at David Plyde's website, NABigfootSearch.com where you can also get his second uh, book, that being Tribal Bigfoot. 
this is the first book and then uh, there is Tribal Bigfoot which I think is a little bit better than the, than the first book. That's not to say the first book wasn't great but I think this one's just a little bit better and my review of it is as follows I'll find the review here it is better than the Hooper project we have all heard how a movie sequel is usually better than the original the Empire Strikes Back Godfather 2 Terminator 2 Judgment Day well in books sometimes a sequel comes along that blows its predecessor away that has happened with the book Tribal Bigfoot those who read David's excellent original book in 2008 the Bigfoot book of the year know that there was a good deal of reports from the Hoopa Reservation in Northwest California. For Tribal, David revisits the northwestern part of the Golden State by going to Del Norte, Siskiyou, Humboldt, and Trinity Counties to investigate more reports that have been investigated by himself and his team. He also revisits Hoopa by asking the witnesses who did not have sketches done for the first book, The Hoopa Project, to have the sketches made by Harvey Pratt, the famed forensic artist which they are. But Pilates goes beyond Northwestern California in this book. He also travels to the Sooner State of Oklahoma to interview eyewitnesses, as well as the land of 10,000 lakes, Minnesota. Not only are there witnesses interviewed and sketches drawn of eyewitness accounts, but Pilates also comes to some startling conclusions as to the true nature of the Sasquatch via DNA tests and just talking to the eyewitnesses and hearing their descriptions. The DNA tests yield some very surprising results, and Dave follows the evidence as he sees it to its conclusions, that Bigfoot is truly more human than ape, and that they have a language. According to reports, he, inv he has investigated of witnesses hearing what sounds like Native American language coming from the woods, and also hearing from Native American elders that if a Native American speaks to a Sasquatch in their native language, the Sasquatch will understand it. I cannot recommend this book highly enough and give it not five, not six, not even nine, but ten stars. Well done, Dave and Harvey. And I'm going to show you some of the sketches, some more of the sketches that, uh, that Harvey Pratt put, uh, did and drew. Some really excellent stuff. Um, you can see right here, this one appears to be a female. It appears to have drooping uh, mammary glands. And then... Uh, interestingly enough, there were a few reports of golden-colored Sasquatches, which is very rare. It's very rare to have something that's a golden color, but there were a few reports of that, especially in Northern California. There, there were a few reports of that. Here's one, or here's a couple that kind of seem to... To, to be similar in in scope because you see a Sasquatch bringing its arm up to to kind of shield its face probably from a light like that you know probably from let's say from uh, from like a like headlights or something like that or a flashlight or things of that nature we also see uh, look look at the muscular uh, this one's carrying a, a young a young Sasquatch. Now here's one. This was this one was interesting because um, apparently the witness actually saw a Sasquatch running behind her son who was on a motorcycle, and the Sasquatch was apparently chasing uh, the young man on the motorcycle. And when the witness kind of cried out, you know, the Sasquatch looked at the witness as if to say. Oh, the fun's over. You caught me. <laughs> That's how, that was the that was the that was the impression the witness got. And then something interesting that Harvey Pratt did. He he sketched uh, Patty, the Patterson Gimlin film creature. Not only did he sketch it as it originally appeared, he also took the hair off it. He removed the, all the hair from the creature, and you can see that it looks very human-like. That's Patty without hair. And here's one, a, a side view of a Sasquatch walking. Walking from left to right. And here's a few more sketches. 
really interesting stuff. The, the guy is, is ultra talented. The, the guy is, is really amazing. The, the 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 work he's done on on the artwork, on the sketches and things like that. Here's some more sketches. Here's one which the Sasquatch's face is hidden behind behind uh, shrubbery, behind a tree. And here's some more sketches, including the Ed Maston signing, which was this was a sketch from the first book. It was also done without hair. Here's one. This looks like almost like an old man. Almost. Almost like an old man with long hair and a long beard. And here's some more of the sketches. And also, uh, Harvey showed, or Harvey shows that um, he based, you know, that. They're, 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 his eyewitness drawing of a wanted uh, fugitive uh, was pretty close to a photograph which was eventually uh, shown of this uh, suspect. And then we have some some final sketches right here. So uh, some interesting stuff and uh, you know Harvey's just a, such a talented uh, artist. He really is. He does a tremendous job. And he's done tremendous, tremendous job on um, all these sketches. Now, I plan on having both these books autographed by Dave Pleites at the uh, Pacific Northwest Conference on Primal People, which is coming up in three and a half weeks. I also plan on purchasing uh, his two books, his two new books, which have nothing to do with Sasquatch, those being uh, Missing 411 uh, Western and Eastern Editions. So, um, anyway, that's my review of uh, Dave Pleite's books. I do highly recommend them both. They are both available at Amazon.com. They're available at HancockHouse.com. They're also available at Dave Pleite's website, NABigfootSearch.com. Along with the new books that, that, that Dave is coming out with, Missing 411, uh, that, that first book is, already, is now available. And the second book is supposed to be available by the end of the month. Uh, missing 411, the Eastern Edition. The Western Edition is available right now. But um, those are, that's, that's some really good reading, and I just yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I, I hope you guys enjoy both my reviews. My review of uh, my previous review of America's Bigfoot Fact, Not Fiction, and also this re double review of Dave Pleite's books. So we'll talk to you guys later. Take care.